Hey guys, it's Melvin7 here. Today I'm bringing you my match preview for the game Bournemouth vs Manchester United. Surprise, surprise, given I'm doing this video now, I'm actually bringing these back this season. And uh, yeah, what a season to bring it back for. Jose Mourinho's first. I have never been so excited to actually see Manchester United kick off a Premier League campaign. Even under Ferguson, I mean, I only watched the last couple of Ferguson, uh, like every single game, every single uh, week because I only really got properly into football when I think I was about 14, 15 uh, when I actually started watching every single game instead of just following it, you know So I've never really been this excited for Manchester United to kick off their campaign and honestly with the signings we made everything it, It's just so exciting and I've never had this belief since Ferguson was at the club But anyway, we kick it off with Bournemouth away, which is incidentally the fixture that we ended the season with and we beat them 3-1 on the final day unfortunately David De Gea didn't win the Golden Glove because of a unlucky Chris Smalling on goal right at the end of the game but yeah we won that 3-1 and I'm confident of another win Bournemouth do have threats obviously as most teams do in the Premier League their main threats for me are Callum, Wils uh, Callum Wilson and Benek Afobe who are their two strikers um, I think they play in the same uh, team. Obviously, Callum Wilson was injured for a lot of last season, so I'm not entirely sure. They've lost Matt Ritchie, though, uh, to Newcastle, which was a big part of the way they play. So there's that, I suppose. But looking at the teams in comparison, Paul Pogba is obviously suspended, but I don't think he would have started anyway. He would have been brought off the bench because he hasn't had a full, uh, full week's training. Chris Smalling is also suspended, but again, not sure if he would have started given he's just came back from injury. So, with those two out, our lineup, what is it going to be? I think it's self-explanatory, eight players, eight or nine. It's the other two that you can, you know, debate. But for me, I think Jose Mourinho is going to go to here in net, obviously. Valencia right back, Bailey and Blind, the two centre-backs. Luke Shaw as a left back. Then he's going to use his 4-2-3-1. He said we're going to use two systems, 4-3-3, and 4-2-3-1 but for this game because Pogba isn't there and he's going to be detrimental in our squads later in the season we're going to be using the 4-2-3-1 so the two centre mids I think we'll use Carrick and Herrera um, maybe Schneidlin but I'm going to go with those two for now Rooney's going to start at Cam and he's really going to have to big up his performances early in the season there is so much competition for the two forward positions as in number 10 and the striker role, so he's really going to have to up his game to keep his place in the squad. The two wingers, this is really hard because Jesse Lingard had a fantastic game in the Community Shield, and I think he's a very underrated player. Obviously, you want to see Mkhitaryan play as well, So, and then there's Martial. So there's three players here, and I'm, I'm trying to think what Jose Mourinho would do. And he would, he would use any of them, to be perfectly honest. But I'm going to say Lingard's going to play on the left and then Mkhitaryan on the right. I think Martial will start on the bench. Of course, I could be wrong. Probably am wrong. But Martial needs a bit more match rhythm. He needs to get his old form back from last season. In pre-season, he's been a little bit quiet. You know, he's, he's trying to get back into the match rhythm, I think. So, Jesse Lingard, I don't think he's going to be dropped, but I think Mkhitaryan deserves to start as well. So it's, it's an interesting debate, but I'm going to say Martial's benched for this game and then maybe he starts in place of Jesse Lingard next game. And the striker is obviously going to be Zlatan Ibrahimovic. We'll have Rashford on the bench. And after the first few weeks where we play more than one game a season, all these other players like Memphis, like uh, Lingard, like Rashford, like Schneidlin, all these players will get a lot more opportunities. But that's the lineup I'm going with against Bournemouth. As I say, I've already pinpointed Bournemouth's key threats, so the ones that I think. They've got a solid enough team and uh, a brilliant manager, Eddie Howe, of course. But even so, you have to really believe Manchester United are going to win, uh, even without Pogba, without Smalling. I think we're going to have a very good game. And my prediction... I'm, I'm going to be confident because of this newfound belief, because of Mourinho, Zlatan, Mkhitaryan, Bailly, all playing in this game, Luke Shaw back. I'm going to be confident and I'm going to go for a 3-0 win to Manchester United. The scorers, I'm going to go Ibrahimovic. I'm going to say Jesse Lingard. And I'm also going to say Herrera. I think Herrera might get you know a long range uh, shot in. So yeah, I'm going to be very confident. 3-0 against Bournemouth. And uh, if that actually happened, we would move top of the Premier League for week one. 
And uh, yeah, that would bode well for the rest of the season, I suppose. But obviously, getting way ahead of myself here. But 3 0 is my prediction. Let me know what yours is in the comment section below. Hopefully, I've enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And yeah, peace.